I just spent the past like six hours taking a look at all the new fruit revamps. And today I'm bringing you the ultimate blocks fruits update 17 part three tier list now this actually has multiple tier lists in it i have made a tier list based on any category you can think of so make sure you guys go check out the chapters and take a look at all the tier lists for different things like for example grinding pvp bosses stuff like that and remember this is my opinion but most of it is based on fact so if you think one of my replacements is off make sure you guys let me know down below also guys if we get this video to 10k likes i'm gonna be doing a massive permafruit giveaway so make sure you guys drop a like on the video and let me know what permafruit you want down below let's hop right into the tier list all right guys so here we go this is the grinding tier list all right we're gonna make some adjustments all right first off a lot of the old fruits are now op guys bomb fruit is actually now decent for grinding i'm gonna actually move the bomb fruit all the way up um into the c tier maybe even b tier all right Ch uh, spike fruit as well got a nice buff so we're gonna actually move the spike fruit up as well into the c tier um i'm also going to be moving up a chop fruit because it got flying which makes it really really nice for grinding and we're gonna put that one up here in the c tier as well all right door fruit isn't that great for grinding um all these ones aren't that great for grinding smoke fruit though did get a little bit of a buff i think it's a little bit better than d tier i'm actually gonna put it in um uh i'm gonna put it in c tier as well with chop there we go uh not exactly ranked um now leopard fruit i know a lot of people are wondering where leopard fruit is going to go now i actually have the leopard fruit they have like the mastery almost maxed the leopard fruit is really good for grinding boys it's not quite the best grinding fruit in the game but it's up there i'm gonna say it's s tier now i don't necessarily think it's better than light or ice because the m1 damage is a little bit low uh, comparatively but it's up there guys and if you it's not a, yeah I don't, i'm not confident saying it's better than those because it's not like it does it's not a logia fruit so you don't it's not as good for the earlier c's but for the later c's it's definitely up there with buddha if that makes sense okay hopefully that clears up any questions so there's the grinding tier list also i want to give a big shout out to shocks d for making the template all right so here we go all right so here is the pvp portion of the tier list all right now actually guys bomb fruit i literally wrecked a guy with bomb fruit pvp i gotta move it higher low key guys i'm gonna probably say i'm gonna give it b tier the new mine ability is insane and they buff like the damage and everything it is so much better all right now the buff for spike definitely is definitely really nice as well all right it definitely is going to be putting it up here i'd probably say in um uh, at least c tier for pvp now chop got a new flying ability which is nice i'm gonna give it i'm gonna give it some credit actually and i'm gonna say it should probably move up to the uh c tier as well really really nice spring did get a little bit like a new attack but it just doesn't make it good enough uh more good enough for pvp so i'm gonna not get any credit kilo fruit did not get a buff uh spin fruit and smoke fruit did get a buff though as well uh smoke now has flying with bombs and i think that could be pretty nice for pvp so i'm gonna give it a little bit higher because of that smoke bomber attack oh my gosh i love that thing oh my goodness guys all right and then we got the beast boys as far as how good it is it's gonna be like right around i'd say dragonish. it's not the greatest for pvp but it has so much knockback that i definitely gonna say it's probably gonna be uh i'll probably say it's a little bit better than dragon and the m1 is nice as well just for like convenience sake so i'm gonna say that uh where'd it go we're gonna move these down a little bit and i'm gonna put um uh there we go we'll put the leopard fruit right there guys definitely a great fruit as far as other fruit revamps they weren't that insane um so i'm not gonna really like talk about those but there you go guys there is the new pvp tier list Psych. you guys already know you guys already know you guys already know man come on you guys gotta already know like let's be real guys let's let's be real let's be real boys let's be real let's be real let's be real guys all right stop the cap stop the cap man that that's what we're talking about guys 
All right, guys. Next up, we got the trading values. So definitely a lot of these fruits have changed in trading values. Uh, for example, bomb fruit now. Oh, my. I'm just kidding, guys. The only real change to trading values is this right here. Um, uh, the most valuable fruit right now, because it hasn't ever showed up like in shop or like anything, the only way to get it right now is basically Robux is the leopard fruit. So uh, I definitely say leopard fruit is right now worth right around dough. Um, that might change though if leopard fruit comes in shop. But as it stands right now, guys, here is the trading list. Um, the other fruits, guys, I don't think they're going to change in value much. They've just been in the game for so long. The only change is this right here. Now, Doe Awakening, depending on how good it turns out to be or how much people like it or the player base likes it, Doe might move down. But overall, this is the new trading tier list, guys, for Blocks Fruits Update 17 Part 3. All right, next up, we have the fruit tier list for newer players. Like, for example, if you're in the first C, what uh, stuff you should use. Now, this one actually is shaking up quite a bit. Like, a lot of these ones, I don't even recommend using anymore. Like, I'm dropping most of these, like, down. Bomb fruit is actually pretty decent. I even, I drop, I'm dropping, like, bomb fruit up here. Chop, honestly, like, Loki ain't too bad for the first C. I'm going to put chop fruit up here. All right. Leopard fruit is good, but not, like, too good. Like, it's all right. I'll probably put leopard fruit maybe, like, right around dragon. I don't really recommend these for new players. I'll probably put this a lot right there in the B tier as well. We're kind of running out of space, especially with the helicopter. I'll probably actually know I'm going to drop that into B tier as well. There's like a lot of good B tier fruits now. Now all like the new fruit we works and stuff like bomb is pretty good. So honestly, guys, mostly what happened is all the older fruits are still are just better. So they're still in a lower tier. They're just better. Okay. Now I don't recommend getting these fruits. I recommend focusing on light fruit. I like light fruit a lot. Honestly, if you're a new player, even ice fruit is decent, but ice fruit doesn't have flying, which kind of sucks. Flame fruit has flying, but it doesn't have the, um, uh, what's it called? It doesn't have a sword, which is kind of annoying, but all like the elemental fruits are really nice. So I feel like this is pretty fair and chop fruit, depending on like who you're farming can be really, really nice. So having like a perma chop or something is not a bad idea or having like a spare chop fruit in your inventory. Always a good plan. So there you go, guys. There's the tier list for new players. All right, now comes the fun part. Now, this is my overall devil fruit tier list. And uh, this is what I think is the best fruit factoring everything in. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's go talk about it, boys. First off, we have the revive fruit. I don't really think most people main this one, but it definitely is OP, I believe, for PvP. I'll give it B tier. Um, control fruit, a lot, a lot of people like this one uh, for PvP. I'll give it A tier. Personally, though, I don't think I would main it. But that's just my opinion next up leopard fruit i'm a little bit biased guys because i kind of did buy the leopard fruit so with robux so yeah it has to be good uh, it does have really nice knockback but the m1 damage is a little bit lacking um so overall i think it's a good fruit and it doesn't have flying all right next up we have dragon i'm gonna say dragon is slightly better than leopard uh but leopard is better for grinding so i would probably go with dragon for pvp leopard for pvp slash grinding i think leopard is the better overall fruit but i think dragon is better for pvp maybe even bosses all right next up we have what is this the cake fruit i don't remember i don't really know much about this fruit so i'll be honest next up we have the chop fruit i'm gonna give chop fruit a c tier it did get that new flying ability which is pretty nice spring even though it did get the what spring emperor buff it's still not that great smoke fruit smoke got that um uh, smoke bomb i believe and he got a little bit of a revamp i like it i like it flame it's all right but it's not the greatest fruit i'd say like c tier in my mind bomb fruit everybody knows guys bomb fruit is the best uh fruit in the game if you guys know bro and plus it just got buffed guys it was already the best fruit and it got buffed again oh my gosh bro spike fruit pretty good ice fruit really nice for grinding i'll give it a b tier buddha fruit bro everybody knows if you're in the third c you gotta get that buddha fruit bro Sand, I'm going to say sand. Even if you awaken it, it's, it's all right. Dark, if you awaken it, it's pretty good. Same with light. They're decent fruits overall. I give them like A tier overall. Especially if you awaken it. All right, rubber did get a little bit of a buff, but I, I wouldn't use it. Barrier, no, I don't think anybody uses barrier. Door is really nice for getting around the map. I'll give it I'll give it some credit. Uh, magma, really good for like grinding and decent for PvP. Great, I think I messed up on which one whatever i don't really know much about this fruit um string i don't know a lot about string i heard string is op if you use it right phoenix i don't know much about it paw fruit don't know much about it 
not really not really a big fan of this one all right doe awakening pretty sweet pretty sweet not gonna lie not gonna lie guys s tier all right next up we have kilo please don't get that one diamond not my not my cup of tea uh heart fruit guys i'm kind of a, a little bit i love boa so i'm just gonna say guys i am a little bit biased but i'm putting uh the boa just for boa man like come on like come on bomb fruit's the best but then oh my gosh it's insane venom fruit pretty good fruit overall um spin fruit bro nobody uses it nobody uses fruit either guys so there you go guys there's my overall tier list i know this one's a little bit sus you guys can roast me in the comments down below but this is my personal opinion uh factoring like pvp grinding etc and a lot of this is based on my personal experience i haven't like used all the fruits yet but i've used a good amount and this is kind of my opinions based on what i've seen again you guys probably have your own opinions let me know down below uh, what you guys uh think about it and i'll catch you on the next one hope you guys enjoyed the video